My final topic, Malkin's moments. Have some great Malkin's moments for you. Joe Mixon of the Cincinnati Bengals. Did you see that game? Cincinnati torched, absolutely destroyed the Pittsburgh Steelers 41-10. to He had 165 rushing yards and three touchdowns all in the first three quarters. He didn't even play in the fourth quarter to Joe Mixon, and he absolutely was dazzling in the win yesterday. He has 923 rushing yards on the season, which is top five in the NFL. It was his second consecutive game with over 100 rushing yards. And the Cincinnati Bengals, they're 7-4. and four. They're only a half a game back of the second-best record in the AFC. They have the second-best record in the AFC North behind the Baltimore Ravens, and he's been a big reason why. The emergence of the run game, obviously combined with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, but Joe Mixon has been sensational, and he was the story for the Cincinnati Bengals yesterday. Fantastic, fantastic performance. So on Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving Day, there's always a football game. This time it was Dallas and the Las Vegas Raiders. And according to CBS, well, actually, I, I shouldn't say according to CBS, but it, it was stated by CBS, CBS. Again, this was a game that the Cowboys lost to the Raiders 36-33 to in overtime. CBS said that this game was the most watched NFL regular season game on any network since 1990, it drew 38.5 million viewers on Thanksgiving Day. That is phenomenal. And football is obviously a staple of American culture, and especially of that day when you think of Thanksgiving, whether you're watching professional football, whether you're playing with your friends and family in the backyard in a little turkey bowl game, Thanksgiving and football are synonymous. And that's an incredible number, regardless of your disposition towards the sport, regardless of your fanfare, whether you like the teams or not. It's always playing in the background. Dallas and Raiders drew 38.5 million views. That's sensational. Speaking of sensational, the, the Iowa State Cyclones running back, Brees Hall, broke the college football record for the most consecutive games with a rushing touchdown. He's now rushed for at least one touchdown in 24 straight games. In incredible markets, the second straight season in which in in every single game he has scored at least one rushing touchdown. Brees Hall was extremely emotional about it. The last time he didn't rush for a touchdown was against Notre Dame his freshman year two years ago in 2019. That was the last time he didn't rush for, and that was the season finale. And he's having another phenomenal year, 1,472 rushing yards. Cyclones, they made some noise at different parts of the year they're seven and five they actually handed Oklahoma State their only loss of the season and he was a big reason why major shout out to Brees Hall transitioning to the NHL Alex Ovechkin recorded his 28th career hat trick over the weekend this guy just continues to mesmerize us all he's already fourth in the all-time and the NHL's all-time scoring list uh, he has 749 goals and he'll probably move into number three by the end of the year. And right now, first of all, he scored two of his three goals in 56 seconds in a 4-3 to three win over the Florida Panthers. But this is the impressive thing. So he's got 18 goals this year, which is the most through 21 games in a season by a player in at least his 17th season. This is his 17th season after all. And again, he's only 19 goals from passing uh, Jeremy Yeager for third on the career all-time uh, list following the hat trick. It was his 153rd multi-goal game of his career. Again, he's already fourth on the all-time list. He moved into 26th place in the NHL's all-time career points list, and the Capitals are having another great year. This is an NHL team that has the best record in NHL, in the NHL with 14-3, and three. and he's a, he continues to amaze even at this stage of his career. And, and along with him, Steph Curry continues to amaze at this stage of his career. Steph Curry makes Malkin's moments this week. Over the weekend, he got his 220th career 30-point game. That's the third most in Warriors history behind Wilt Chamberlain and Rick Barry. He already has eight 30-point games this year for the Warriors. He's the leading front runner for league MVP. And he just became the fastest player in NBA history to make 103 pointers on a season. It took him, he broke his own record. It took him only 19 games this year to make 103 pointers. That's jaw dropping numbers. And again, 19 games, that's it. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. 
final two Malkins moments, the Pittsburgh quarterback, Kenny Pickett, what a season he's had for the Panthers, who are ranked number 10, uh, number 17, pardon, right now, 10 and 2 on the year. They've had major wins over Clemson, Virginia, and they got another opportunity coming up against Wake Forest. But he just passed Dan Marino's record, this uh, Dan Marino's school record for the most passing touchdowns in a single season. He passed for his 39th and now 40 touchdowns on the season which passes Dan Marino's record that's been held for 40 years and this guy Kenny Pickett on the year has 4,066 passing yards that's fifth most in college football his 40 touchdowns on the season are the, are tied for the second most in the sport only seven interceptions on 68 percent completion it's it's amazing they also beat Clemson as well as I mentioned he's having a sensational sensational year and then finally my last Malkins moment goes to Hassan Haskins and the Michigan Wolverines the Michigan running back rushed for 169 rushing yards and five touchdowns five rushing touchdowns which ties a school record set in 1968 Michigan of course pulled off a huge 42 to 27 upset over Ohio State, sensational, sensational performance. He's rushed for over 150 yards in three of his last four games. It's the sixth time this year that he's topped 100 rushing yards, and Michigan is primed to make the college football playoff. They just got to beat I, uh, Iowa. We'll see what type of game that he ends up having in that one. That'll do it for me. Thank you so much for joining me on Morning Joe right here every Monday and Wednesday morning, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 to 11 Central and 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific Mondays and Wednesdays. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page, Morning Joe with Jonah Malkin. Follow me on Twitter at Morning underscore Joe underscore at Jonah Malkin. Twitter, um, Instagram, jmalk97. TikTok, Jonah Malkin. Like, subscribe, comment, and as always, have a lovely rest of your morning.